What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. Welcome back to my next episode of the United States of Joe Winko. So, um, the winner of last episode's trivia question was Captain IGC. So, congratulations to Captain IGC. He's going to be the mayor of my next city, which is going to be right here, and it's going to be a big city. And this city is going to be Toronto. So, let's get this party started. I never been to Toronto before. I mean, I knew there was a huge city up in Canada. I didn't really realize how close I was to it back when I was living in Wisconsin. But I wasn't really that close to it. It's closer to Michigan than it is than it is Wisconsin. I heard a lot about that city too. Seems like a cool place. I wouldn't want to live there though cuz it's too cold, obviously, but Still be a cool place to visit during the summer. And gosh, does it really have mountains like this too? Didn't know that. Didn't know it had mountains. Well, yeah, the Midwest does have mountains, like uh, North Dakota. That's considered. No, it's more South Dakota. Yeah, it's Mount Rushmore is in South Dakota. So there's a special way I wanted to build this city. I wanted to have like a the interstate like looping around it. That'd be cool. So the Sims are able to just get on the highway and like get to where they need to. Alright, so Toronto. God double check to make sure I spelled it right. Even though I'm pretty sure that's the correct way of spelling it. Let me just pull up my map real quick. It is an interesting location, really, right between the Great Lakes. Alright. Yep, I spelled it right. T O R O N T O. Okay. Don't need to add the Canada extension to it because. <laughs> I mean, whatever cities are named Toronto, there probably are, but I never heard of them. Okay, so... Let me make a horizontal interstate here. Oh, there's another thing I need to add. I need to add the money trees. I cannot forget about those. Those are so important. Okay, we got those. And to build all styles at once and let me save. There's other cities that are connected to this. This isn't connected to the main Canadian Highway 2 route yet, but it will be. Whoops. All right, so built that and that. All right, so that's Canadian Highway 2. This is going to be the city it ends in. I mean, I don't know anything about the real Canadian highways or what high Canadian highway actually does go into Toronto. Like the interstates, that's what I know more about, but... Canadian highways, that's where I'm stumped on. <laughs> Hope you guys don't get mad at me for that. So I want the highway to border the whole perimeter of the city. And it shouldn't be too difficult to pull that off. Alright. Yeah, I got it. That looks nice. Is it possible to build a... No, no, it isn't. Darn it. I could have a T-way intersection here.
and more highways here. I'll eventually figure out a way to connect them. Oh yeah, there it is. Alright, so I got it. Oh wait, no, I don't got it. <laughs> Let me just tear this down. Okay, <laughs> now I got it. And let me build another highway going from one side of the city to the other so you don't have so they don't have to like circle all around it. All right, and let me save. All right, that's the road for Toronto, Canada. Probably doesn't look anything like the one in real life. However, I do have some skyscrapers, like the Toronto Scotia Plaza, right there. And I know there's more. There's like three skyscrapers from Toronto that I was able to add. Alright, Toronto, um, I forgot what this building is called, but I'll just put it right here. I know it's a building in Toronto, that's all I know. And then, I think the last one is the... No, not, that's not it. No, that's the Memphis Tower. That's not it either. I forgot exactly what that building looks like. It's the... It's a tall one that's shaped like a square. Oh wait, no, that's a statue I made myself. Myself, That's definitely not in Toronto. That's in the capital city. Oh, uh, yeah, Canadian, the Toronto first Canadian place, that's it. Is it taller than that one? Oh yeah, it is taller than that one. Okay. Alright, and there, we got the buildings added. Now, the roads from the neighboring communities, if I can find all of them. Alright, so I know that there, there's some roads from... Alright, Bad Axe. That's the town in Michigan, I think. Alright, so I'll have that connected. Give them access to Canadian Highway 2, I think it is. I think. I don't, I don't I forgot what it's called. <laughs> yeah, it is Canadian Highway 2. Okay. Now, I almost got it. It'd be really fun to road trip this whole entire map, honestly. <laughs> Even though in real life, like, this, all this space is much bigger. And there's no, um... Alright, there's no city to the left, I mean, to the east of this, but not yet. But there will be, eventually. And there's no city to the north of this, either. But I'll build a road that goes that way, anyway. should build some avenues too even though it's just gonna be small towns like going through that well does what the city I plan on adding to the east of this will be a small town that's what I meant to say <laughs> Wow Yeah, this game scrambles my brain, definitely. What? It didn't add an on-ramp? What the fuck? Uh, it better add one. Oh, wait, no. Alright, it added an on-ramp there. I forgot that there is a town to the south of this, Erie, Pennsylvania. So, let me just tear down this road. 
and let me add, let me just have these connect. All right, there, awesome. Now, what's next? Is that the only road coming from Erie? I believe so. Yeah, there's no other road. Oh, oh well. And here's another road. Roads everywhere. Yeah, thank goodness I'm not like a... Thank goodness I'm not like a road planner or anything. Because, you know, right now I'm just throwing these roads like anywhere. Not really thinking of exactly if it's a good spot for them in the first place. I'll just make a random bridge there. Okay, that height is okay for fairies. I thought of uh, that show, Fairly Odd Parents, for some reason. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Okay, so, um, okay, more roads. Oh, wait, that's more on-ramps, and, <laughs> all right, we got it connected, and it's looking good. Mm, let me add another one. And let me add a. Uh, let me add another road. Well, an avenue, that's what I'll add. I wonder if there's a city to the north of this. Oh no, there is no city to the north of this. Huh. Well, I built that road going there anyway. So, do I have any roundabouts that I need to convert into... And, I mean, do I have any intersections that I need to convert into roundabouts? So far, I only see, like, one, two. Alright, well, that's always good. There's still a lot more roads that I need to add. I didn't look up how the real Toronto, Canada is. <laughs> I feel a little guilty about that for some reason now. wonder what the weather is there now, because it's been cold down here in Florida. Like, I went on a bike ride earlier, and it was, like, freezing. And I wasn't just biking for le leisure, or leisure, or whatever you call it. I was biking because, like, I, there was a place I had to go. Ugh. <laughs> I would never bike out in weather like this just for fun. Like, it was, like, 50 degrees. It wasn't too cold. But the thing is, it feels colder in Florida because of the humidity. The air is so damp and everything. That's why.
Alright, so... Still haven't zoned anything yet, but going to eventually. Thinking about having the north side of the city be like the central business dis like the business district, and then having the rest of it be residential. Okay, so I need to add the garbage dump. Well, no, what is it again? I mean, the uh, yeah, the garbage chute. I'll add those up here. And I'm gonna need to add a bus stop so they can get up there. Okay, and there's another thing I forgot to add. My beautiful uh, Canadian Highway 2 signs. Yeah, that's what this highway is called. Damn, those signs are tall. Huh. They're almost as tall as the building. I didn't notice how tall they were. <laughs> Do I really need that many? No, look how big they are. Pretty sure they're going to get that they're on Canadian Highway 2. And why do I have them on that side? I don't need to have them on... I tore all of them down. Those ones down. I should have these on the exterior of the city. Exterior. I don't know, I talk way too much. I'm just trying to make sure that this isn't like a quiet live stream, like we're, I mean, it's not even a live stream, what the fuck am I saying? Like a quiet video of me not sh saying anything while playing SimCity 4. Okay. And everything's looking good. Okay, so let's start zoning. <laughs> Alright, so some high density commercial here. Is there any way to. Alright, I'm gonna have to convert those streets into roads, however long. I mean, yeah, I know how to do it. Never mind. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to add a bunch of wind turbines, too. And a bunch of water pipes, gosh. I was watching the Jenny Jones show earlier, 
I mean, obviously not on live television, but like reruns of it on YouTube. Interesting show. I was gonna do an episode of Joe Winko talk because of it. I heard I I also watched that they got in a lot of trouble once because like a murder happened. It was pretty sad, really. Speaking of that, I should add a citywide fire station and a, what is it, a large police station? And a bunch of wind turbines. how this whole country is powered by wind turbines. Okay, so now it's time for the residential zoning. Let me add another road running parallel to the highway. Why isn't it letting me connect that? Oh yeah, it is. So, let me add a huge chunk of high-density residential right here. Okay, yeah, that's it. And I should add a bus stop here, there, there. Oh, people are starting to move in now? Wow. Okay, so you need to make sure they're getting water too. The water is basically something you need to like throw down before the sims start moving in. That makes me think, um, I remember I heard about, like, a blackout that happened for 25 hours. Like, everything from Ohio to New York, they all lost power. And it was in 2003. It was weird that I don't remember that at all. There's a lot more stuff I need to add around here, too. Interesting city in the United States of Joe Inko. It's different from my other ones. I never really built them like this before. There's a lot more stuff I'm going to be adding to it. I want it to at least have a population of 100,000. I'm gonna try that. That's what I'm gonna shoot for. So far we have zero, but it'll grow. I'm surprised it's only at zero. I mean, I see houses being built. They're not being, they're not done being built yet. That's the thing. And then high school right here. Elementary, right here. Wind turbine, right here. They also need a very large police station, right here. And a very large hospital, right here. And a fire station, right here. And some clinics here, there, and there. 
And I'm gonna add a couple of roads too. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love it. Oh, and they, of course, they need their college too. City college. Alright, they're all getting their water. Now let me make sure the schools are good enough for the students. The hospitals need to be good enough. Medical clinic needs enough money. And I think that's... Let me save. Alright, we're at a population of Now we're at 13,000. I should have unlocked the large high school by now. Wait, is this... Yeah, they're getting water, so... This should be... Um... I think this is the... Oh yeah, this is the other side of the city. I was wondering where it was. We have 13,000 sims, that's still not enough for it to be a massive city, but we're getting there. We need to add the wind turbines. That's what's going to make the, sim the cities grow. Oh yeah, and I forgot, the libraries. And I'll throw in another one there. Okay, so 13,000 sims. So 
City's growing. It's taking a while, but it's getting there. I need to add more commercial lots. Because I wanted this to be like a... Have like a lot of commercial areas. Be the city of opportunities. So more high density commercial. And more roads running parallel to the interstate. Well, not interstate, but Canadian highway. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I gotta make sure they have enough, um, they have enough water, too. Do they? I should've, oh yeah. Let me extend these. Now they have enough. Alright, looking good. Alright, so we have a population of 30,000 sims. Well, 37,000 now. I've said I've unlocked the large high school by now. Oh yeah, I did. And the large elementary school. Heh. <laughs>
trying to think of what else to talk about. <laughs> Been too quiet this whole entire... What the fuck? Oh, yeah. This is what I meant to zone. Um, let me connect these. Okay. Hope that turns out good. And you still need to build roads, like connecting those to the avenue so it goes all the way through. Oh yeah, another show that I've been watching, um, re-watching I should say, was uh, America's Next Top Model. I think I talked about that before. Well actually i never seen, like America's Next Top Model to be completely honest, that was like the first reality TV show I ever started watching. That's what got me into reality television. My adoptive sister always used to watch it. You know, the one that sent me the laser device to remove all my body hair. <laughs> that sounded so awkward. But, um, yeah, she used to watch it, and then I would always watch it with her. I remember, I think the one, the, the cycle I remember most of America's Next Top Model is Cycle 5, I think. Yeah, Cycle 5 is the one I remember the most. I also remember Cycle 3. That's the one I was re-watching the most. That's the one I, like, completely re-watched. <laughs> Wait, didn't I give money to the transportation department? Yeah, they should be using... Okay, so... Increase... Commerce office, smoke stepper, neighborhood watch, carpool incentive. Let me try that. Why aren't Sims moving in? Oh, yeah, they're starting to. And I should add a gazebo, too. Oh, okay, someone already built something there. Never mind. Well, isn't that what I. Well, that is what I wanted them to do, so that's a good thing. Okay, so we're not even... Oh, let me see if I unlocked anything. Oh, the House of Worship and the Mayor's House. I'll put that right here, by the hospital. And we still haven't... Well, we have 48,000, so... It's not... It's roughly enough. I mean, the point of the city was to build, like, a... Not for it to be, like, a huge city, but for it to have, like, the most, what's it called, like, economic opportunities so the Sims could go to work there. And that did not turn out right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it doesn't let me build a road there.
All right, we're at a population of 57,000 sims. All right, things are looking good. I mean, there's more I want to build. Hold on. Let me add some high density residential. I mean, high density commercial. Commercial, that's what I meant to say. Alright, I don't know why, but the cheetah speed button isn't really working. That's one thing I've been noticing, like the fast speeding button, like that speeds up time to make time go faster so things get built up faster. It hasn't really been working so well. We have a population of 61,000. It's not even as big as my Charlotte city, but it's good enough. Charlotte, North Carolina was actually beautiful. I loved it. It has way more people than 80,000 sims, like my United States of Joenko city does. The reason why not many sims live in that city is because it's, like, too mountainous and it's too hard to zone stuff. Like, I'm talking about the my sim city for Charlotte, North Carolina, not the real one. Does anyone use the highways? Let me see. Oh, they do. Does anyone use these roads? Oh yeah, they do. No one commutes on that road. Oh yeah, but they take the... Oh, they actually work outside the city? I didn't know that. Yep, they all commute outside the city. Yeah, there's still a lot more left to add. Eh, might as well add it now. While I'm here. Just some... High-density commercials. I mean, commercial. <laughs> high-density commercials. Like YouTube. But that's how the stuff stays free, so... I shouldn't complain. It's all about the money, really. It's messed up. That's what- that's capitalism for you. But, could be a lot worse, though. I mean, socialism. I'm not so sure about socialism, because when socialism gets too out of hand, like, they start controlling everything. Like, in England? England isn't really... Okay, I know... I hope no one gets mad at me for saying this. From what I know about England, and correct me if I'm wrong, England isn't really quite a socialist country, but they do, they are a bit more socialist than the United States is, because, um, like, I remember, I remember I heard that, uh, like, these people living in England, the government owns their house. I think that's pretty interesting, really. I never really heard of anything like that in the USA. Well, actually, I think that probably is true, actually, for, like, for some housing in the USA. Huh, yeah. It's a different type of system over there. Just gonna add more wind turbines.
Alright, so the city is turning out pretty well. We have 64,000 sims, which is... Oh, wait, let me see if I unlocked anything. Else. Impressive mayor statue. Oh, we unlocked university? Hold on. We gotta throw that down. Yep, University of Toronto. Gotta build a road around it, too. <laughs> awesome. And I think I should add a bus stop, too. Because they need to be able to take a bus over there. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> My city. Okay, so... Let me add another road here. <laughs> awesome! I'm getting way too excited about this. It's funny. Now, what else did I unlock? Ooh, the city hall. Let me put it right by the elementary school. I mean, the high school. And I also unlocked... Is that everything I unlocked? Alright, there's also the Disease Research Center, but I don't want to put that anywhere. House of Worship? Let me put that right here. That creeped me out, gosh. And then an impressive mayor statue. Let me put that right here, right next to the high school. Oh, and everyone likes it. <laughs> And a courthouse. <laughs> this is going awesome. I love unlocking the stuff and a radio tower. We cannot forget that. Reporting live off of uh, off of Canadian Highway. Canadian Highway Two. Yeah, that's what it is. Sorry, I'm from Florida. Don't know my way around. <laughs> United States of Joe Winko. US JW 335.1 FM. It would mainly just be playing 80s music all day, honestly. Any radio station in the United States of Joe Winko would be playing 80s music. I mean, like, like songs that are like 20 years in the past. Like all the people who want to become famous rock stars in the United States of Joe Winko. Oh, I put out this new song! It's awesome! Oh yeah, too bad no one in the United States of Joe Winko will be hearing it until 20 years from now. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Unless it sounds like it's from the 80s, then I would play it. We have 70,000 sims living here now. Let me just add, like, a patch of, um... Of residential land. And another bus stop. Oh yeah, because I remembered. I have, like, a, a setting put on that they can only take, um, mass transportation. Can they? No. Wait, yeah, they can only take tra mass transportation. It was a mod that I downloaded. We now have a population of 71,063 sims. And it's taking it forever to... Okay, now we have 73,000 sims. And the demand for commercial zoning is high. All of this is...
All right, so 79,000 sims. We actually are really close to 100,000 sims now that I notice it. The city has grown pretty gr grown pretty well. So, uh, I'm getting bored with playing this. So, oh, it's already been 56 minutes, almost an hour. So I'm just going to pause and I'm just going to save and end this part of the playthrough right here. Plus my ass is starting to cramp up because I've been sitting down for too long. I can't stay, like people always think that I stay like sitting down in front of my computer for a long time. The truth is I really don't. I pace around a lot and I'm always up walking around. Even though I don't go out very often, I'm, I don't spend much time sitting down. I can't spend that much time sitting down because my legs would cramp up. So that's it for the United States of Joe Winko. I hope you guys all liked it. Um, well, for this episode of the United States of Joe Winko, what the hell am I saying? Um, I hope you guys all liked it. Thanks so much to Captain IGC for answering this episode's trivia question and for becoming the mayor of Toronto, Canada. The city turned out really cool. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't for forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget to answer this episode's trivia question correctly at the end so you can become the mayor of my next city in the United States of Joe Winko. And that's it. Peace out, people. This episode's trivia question. Who died first in Joe Winko's 2014 Sims 3 slasher film, Friday the 13th? Answer this question in the comments. The first person to comment the correct answer will be crowned the mayor in my next city of the United States of Joe Winko. Please also mention the name you want to be listed as. Remember. You must use the same name at all times. That is it. Peace out, people.